turns out we moved at the right time. Yeah, I got a special weather statement. And according to this, it was issued at 4.09 p.m. Uh, Thursday, February 1st, which would be the afternoon of the last day that we were moving. But the Weather Network never sent it out until no, 24 hours later. But, yeah, lake effect snow tonight into Friday. Bands of lake effect snow will move across the area southwest of Lake Huron and Georgian Bay tonight into Friday. Snowfall amounts of 5 to 10 centimeters are likely in the heaviest flurries. Uh, locally higher amounts of 10 to 15 centimeters are possible in one or two localities. While snow squalls are possible, they will be brief and on the move, and snowfall amounts are expected to remain below the warning threshold of 15 centimeters per 12 hours. The poor winter driving conditions are expected due to low visibility and bursts of heavier snow and accumulating snow on untreated highways. The motorists should allow extra time to reach their destination. So, that was the warning, and this is actually what we got. <laughs> we got about two feet of snow. So, I'm just kind of glad that we got here before that actually happened. Yeah, looking at the 14 day forecast, it seems that. Uh, yeah, and we got a lot more snowy days coming up, but it's February, so it's to be expected. And if you notice, that wasn't me out there shoveling the snow. Um, at this point, I am totally baked. Uh, this trip took so much out of me, doing all the preparing, and the, when I was driving, I had three days with no sleep, uh, two days where I didn't eat. And I just, I couldn't. It just wasn't time. It was so much that had to be done. And by the time everything was finished, I just threw some blankets on the floor and curled up and slept. <laughs> I just, I'm very, very sore, very, very weak. And I suspect it's going to take me a little while to recover. So I haven't done much of anything. Uh, the only thing I really did was I got my computer set up couldn't really do much yet because for the first few days we didn't have any internet connection so it kind of did what I did and all these uh, forecast screens that I got captures of it was all on data so I was kind of limited with what I could do but that was okay anyways because I spent most of my time sleeping and this really didn't feel like doing anything at all and it's going to remain that way for a little bit like I say it's going to take me some time it was this was very 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 stressful very physical and it just it's it took a lot out of me so the other problem I have is a lot of big stuff went into the garage so it's not organized yet there's no electricity in the garage so if I do use my scooter, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to charge it just yet. So you know, I just don't really want to go anywhere because I don't want to leave the batteries discharged out in the cold. I've had problems with that before. So eventually, I noticed there was a hole in the screen <laughs> in our back room. Uh, it's it's kind of a, an extension on the back of the house. It's not heated or anything. So I kind of decided to make use of this hole and run an extension cord out to the garage. So I'll finally get to use the scooter. So what you're looking at here is my first scooter cam video from Wingham. I have been out a couple times but I was walking for reasons that I've already explained. I just had to go down to the store and grab some food. So this is actually the first time I've been out on the scooter itself. Yeah. Now that I've got the extension cord running out to the garage, I have a way of charging the scooter up. So, as I wait for this lady to get out of my way, <laughs> and continuing on. And uh, I'm not really sure about the sidewalk clearing abilities here. Um, I can't really use this one storm as an example, it wouldn't really be fair. Uh, for the monster, this would be no problem. For the ES950, it's a little bit uh, rough or to really dry through it, but you know, that is what it is. So, coming up here, 
and fire trucks are on the main street here. I don't have my scanner set up yet. Um, I've converted to recording with my laptop. I don't use the voice recorder anymore. So when the scanner goes off, I can make whatever noises I want. And the microphone's not going to pick it up because it's being recorded through the computer itself. I haven't got all that set up yet. Plus, at this moment in time, I don't know what Hanover, or Hanover, <laughs> what Wingham's frequency is, so I can't really monitor them yet anyways. So, just by visuals, it looks to me like there's a fire at the, the laundromat here. But... I don't see any hoses going into the building, so I can't really tell what's going on. As I get the hose coming from the fire hydrant up to the fire trucks themselves, but there's nothing going into the building. Sorry about the flag in the way. Yeah, none of the doors are open, so I don't even know where they're at at this moment. So, I don't know. But this is just the beginning. Uh, it, it turns out there's a lot of fire department activity here. Lots of stuff to listen to. And this place is probably... Maybe... I wouldn't really say a quarter the size of Hanover. Maybe a third. So it, it's pretty small, but the actual area that the fire departments cover here is, is quite wide. So there's actually quite a bit of activity. So this is my first trip out. So as I'm heading back, I can clearly see that the laundromat doors are not open. There's no hoses going into it. They just seem to be centered around it, so I just, I don't know. I don't know. But without a scanner, I just have no idea. And I don't really think we have a newspaper here, so... I guess the only way to really find any information would be Blackburn News or Blackburn Radio, which is, you know, this area. And news that and covers these small places. But it turns out our fire department here is kind of a, like a network, I guess. If we get a call, the Blythe Fire Department gets an information page stating that, you know, our fire department has been called out and vice versa. If the Blythe Fire Station gets called out, then the Wingham Fire Department gets an information page to let them know. And there are a lot of... Um, instances when if we have a, a fire alarm at the nursing home or at the hospital here in town Blythe automatically responds to it which is kind of cool so they're, they're kind of connected they're both North Huron ours is North Huron Wingham and Blythe obviously North Huron Blythe but they they both seem to act together which is kind of cool I didn't know it at the time, but that was actually a Blythe fire truck on its way in. And of course, what good would my first video be without showing Dim Hortons? <laughs> So 
So again, today's video here, I just want to mention that the Monsters parts are now on order and they should be here in a few days, hopefully a few days, and unfortunately I gotta wait till the weather's a little bit warmer before I can actually install it, so if you watch the last minute on this video, you'll see what the subjects are coming up and the monster is gonna get fixed.